Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggy, and for today's video, I'm going to be introducing you guys to a new rescue animal that I got. If you couldn't tell from the title, I rescued a turtle. It's a yellow-bellied slider. It's just hard to tell because it's in such bad shape and its colors aren't really vibrant because it's been neglected pretty much its entire life. I never really had plans to get a turtle. Not really sure why, just never really thought about getting a turtle, never really something that interested me completely. But after I saw this turtle in this situation, there was no way that I could not take it because it, it was not good. I honestly don't know how it survived as long as it did and I wasn't sure how much longer it was going to survive because it did not look good. So, yeah. I ended up rescuing this turtle. Obviously, you know, I did a lot of research beforehand. I knew about this turtle for a long time, but when I first saw this turtle, I felt so bad for it, but I knew nothing about turtles, so I wasn't gonna just go get it right away. I think I first found out about this turtle maybe around January or February, around that time, and since then, I've been doing a ton of research on yellow-bellied sliders and how to care for them. Getting supplies together, I purchased a really big tank for her final enclosure, which isn't currently set up yet, but I am going to get there. But I wanted to just introduce you guys to this turtle and its story and kind of what I'm doing right now to help get her into better shape. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's just talk about this poor little turtle. So basically I found this turtle through my friend Maddie. She does dog sitting. So a lot of the people she dog sits have other pets other than dogs. So there was a lady she was dog sitting for who had this turtle and wasn't keeping it in very good shape. And apparently she was looking for someone to take the turtle because she didn't want it anymore. So. Obviously, Maddie told me because if you know anything about me, hi, like, I can't just not take an animal that's in need. So, to give you guys some background on the turtle, apparently the previous owner won this turtle somewhere, like at a carnival or something, or a fair, not really sure, but I guess they won this turtle, and this was like 12 years ago. So, this turtle, I have no idea how it has survived for 12 years in the conditions it was being kept in. If you Google like any sort of turtle care sheet, almost nothing on that care sheet was followed by the people taking care of it. So to give you an idea, this turtle is 12 years old, it's full grown, and it was being kept in a 20 gallon tank. So this turtle lengthwise is probably about 10 inches and it was being kept in a 20 gallon tank and a turtle this size should be kept in at least a 100 gallon tank, preferably more like 120 gallons. They say for every inch of turtle, it should be 10 gallons. I would keep this turtle in a 120 gallon tank, but it was being kept in a 20 gallon tank and it only had maybe about an inch or an inch and a half of water in the tank. So enough for it to like stand in a little puddle of water, but not enough for it to actually ever swim in and the water was so dirty because they were not running a filter in the water and it also had a little thing to crawl up and bask on but it did not have a proper basking bulb it wasn't given uvb it looked like just a regular light bulb people usually give turtles a pretty varied diet with fresh vegetables and whatnot in it but this turtle was only being given a turtle diet i actually have what they fed the turtle staple for this turtle were these Omega-1 adult turtle sticks and then they were also giving the turtle some like freeze-dried insects and stuff. So this turtle was not given proper lighting, wasn't given space to swim, the water was completely dirty, you know, no proper temperatures, no UVB. I don't know how this turtle is alive. It is apparently 12 years old. It doesn't have a name, they just called it turtle, so I might name it, I'm not really sure yet. But I do have footage of the conditions this turtle was being kept in, so I will show that for you right here. So 
So as you can tell by the video, it's not a good situation that this turtle was in. If you feel this turtle's shell, it feels like it's soft because it wasn't given proper lighting. That a lot of the times happens with turtles if they aren't given UVB, is their shell will actually become soft. So almost a week ago, I brought this turtle home and I set up a temporary tank for it because unfortunately this turtle does not know how to swim very well at all because obviously it's probably never swam before in its entire life, or at least not in a very, very long time. So this turtle has a lot of trouble swimming. It has trouble climbing up on the basking dock. I have the water a little bit lower so that the basking dock's lower, and then I have a rock underneath the basking dock so it can climb up on the rock, and then it can climb up on the basking dock, and it usually takes this turtle a few minutes just to climb up on the basking dock but I usually don't help her because I want her to learn for herself how to get up there and she also needs to build up the muscle and the strength to do so because obviously she has not been swimming very much at all ever so she probably doesn't have very good muscles and she also wasn't given proper nutrients. And also I'd like to give a huge thanks to ZooMed because I reached out to them and I told them about this turtle's story and that I was rescuing it. And in turn, they sent me a whole bunch of turtle supplies and I'm so thankful. They sent me their large floating dock for the turtle. They also sent me a 100 watt ZooMed Power Sun basking bulb, as well as a ZooMed turtle diet, red shrimp, and the ZooMed turtle bones, which will be really good for the turtle to eat and get some more calcium in its system. So I wanna give a huge thanks to ZooMed for sending me those products and really helping me out with this turtle. So as you can see, I have this turtle in a 40 gallon tank, which obviously does not look super impressive considering this turtle is so big and this tank is still very, very small for this turtle. So I'm by no means saying it is okay to keep a full grown yellow bellied slider in a 40 gallon tank. That is absolutely wrong and that is not a proper enclosure size for a turtle this large. The only reason why I'm keeping this turtle in a 40 gallon currently is because first of all, I still need to set up its 125 gallon tank that I got for it. I literally have the 125 gallon aquarium in storage right now and I'm about to move it in the house and set it up and get everything ready for this turtle. I just wanna make sure everything is perfect before I move her into her new tank. Also a couple other things. I obviously wanted to bring this turtle home as soon as possible and give it its proper lighting and its proper diet as soon as I could. And also it's filtered water. Like what do you mean? Obviously, you know, a 40 gallon is not good for a turtle, but this is way better than what it had before. So my options were to wait until I had the proper setup and keep this turtle in its old home where it was not being kept in proper conditions at all, or I could keep it in better conditions, still not proper, and then pretty soon move it into its proper final setup. And also with that being said, I don't think the turtle would have done well if I put it right away into a 125 gallon tank anyways. I think this 40 gallon tank is perfect for kind of getting it acclimated to having clean water and the proper lighting and also learning how to swim. I think it's very good that I have it in a 40 gallon right now so she can kind of figure out how to swim more efficiently like a turtle should be swimming. The only downside being that obviously I need to do like 50 to 100% water changes every day because Turtles are pretty dirty and keeping it in this small of a tank, the water is not going to stay clean. I'm currently using, I think it's a Fluval 105 hang on back filter, and that's obviously only for the temporary tank. When it moves to its final tank, I'm going to be using a high power canister filter. And then in hopefully the next one or two weeks, I will be moving it into its final enclosure. For now, I need to help her learn how to swim and climb up on the dock by herself. That way she can actually get around the 125 gallon tank with more ease.
I don't want to get anyone's hopes up. There's definitely no guarantee that this turtle is going to survive or live a full life because it was living in terrible, terrible conditions for 12 years, which is most likely going to cut away at its lifespan. I want to help it and give it the best rest of its life that I possibly can and hopefully help bring her back to better health. But I'm just going to let you guys know right now that I don't want to get your hopes up that the like this turtle might not necessarily live much longer. I really, really, really want to try and get it up to par with how its health should be. And I'm super excited to document it on this channel and we can watch our turtle grow. <laughs> Let me know if you guys have any name suggestions for this turtle or if you think I should just call it turtle. I don't want to confuse it. I don't know if it like knows that its name is turtle. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I will be posting some updates on the turtle pretty soon. And if you guys have any suggestions for me at all with caring for a yellow bellied slider, please let me know down below because I am a new turtle owner and I have done a ton of research the past like five or six months but I'm always open to any suggestions that you guys might have because obviously I'm sure there are a lot of people watching my channel who have had turtles in the past and have a lot of experience. So if you have any knowledge to pass on to me, I would really, really appreciate that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know this isn't the most upbeat, happy video that I've ever made, but hopefully in the future I can make some really awesome, happy, upbeat videos with this turtle when it's in a proper setup and it's doing a lot better, and I'm really looking forward to that. So if you guys don't want to miss me and Turtle's journey, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell because YouTube is screwing us creators over and, you know, just hit the notification bell so you know when I upload because who knows if I'll be in your subscription box. It's gonna be a surprise, but... <laughs> Also, you guys can follow me on my vlog channel and all my other social medias. I will link those all down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And say goodbye to Turtle.